Hi there, so this is another one of my watches I've pulled out. This is a Casio 1984J50. It's one of the pace runners or jogging watches that Casio produced in the sort of early 80s to sort of get in with the jogging craze that was going on. Uh, when I was about 15 or 16, I was really into running when I was in middle school and I was desperate for this watch. I saved up all summer to get it and when we went to get it with my parents I remember it was sold out everywhere and I was really really upset. I consoled myself and bought a I think a Casio calculator which is long gone now but uh, god I was desperate for this watch when I was like that age. Um, so you know 30 years on the power of eBay I managed to buy another one. So it's not the original strap uh, the straps on these always rot off. Uh, this is a, just a re current Casio replacement. And uh, I believe they made, uh, in this Pace Runner series, they made a more basic one that was waterproof and they made a calculator version and that was it. So basically the functions are normal bottom left mode button. Press it once. This is the alarm mode. Obviously that's what time the alarm is set for. Yeah, I believe you press that. No, that's the alarm. Uh, so that's the alarm. That's the hourly chime. That's having them both on. That's having them all off. Press it again. This is the jogging mode. So as you can see, you have a time here and a distance here. What you would do is you would program your stride length into the watch somehow. Uh, Instructions for this watch it just seems to have disappeared off the planet. Nobody seems to be hosting a PDF version of it anywhere. So I'm not quite sure how to program that in, but I believe you can program your stride length into it. And then once you've done that, you can set the watch to up to like 30 different speeds to make 30 different running speeds. And at the end of every run, it'll give you your distance and elapsed time and things like that it'll give you like a marker for every pace which you'll hear now so if i press it this is the distance here it says mile just there this is the time so the beep would be when you hit foot each foot hit the ground as you were running uh, so you can change that beep to make you run faster or slower and once you program the length of your stride in it then calculates everything at the end uh, which is pretty cool if I knew how to do it uh, so that's that I've got the little running man here so I'm going to stop that press that once that resets it okay mode button here this is the countdown timer so if I start that off it's going to Start countdown, it has a little countdown timer here as well. So we'll press that, reset that. Now I believe if I turn that off, there's a tiny little marker in this top corner. It goes to the right hand side, which means it's in the chronograph mode. When it's on that side, it's in the timer mode. And then that works as a basic stopwatch. Start to come out of it. There's no light function, um, so that's it there. I'll just flip it out. I'll have a look at the back. So this is the back of this watch. I believe it runs on a. Is that going to focus? A two o eight module. That could be 280 or it could be 208. Let's have a look. I think it's a 208. Thanks for watching.